So in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to update your apps on your iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch. So it's the same thing for all three products and it's all in your app store. So if you don't see your app store here because you have everything a mess, which by the way looks like this, you can always just swipe your finger down on your screen and just look for your app store. Okay, once you open up your app store, you should be getting something like this. Now down here you can see future, you can also see top ads explore search and updates well that's where you have to go updates so that's your last option just click on there and then you can update one by one whichever you want or you can just put update all which is on the top part of your iPhone okay so on the top part you can see up there it says update all so that's where you're supposed to click so right here it says update all so just do that and then they're all gonna start updating I suggest doing this when you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, just so you don't run up your data plan. Also, um, for your data, it's going to take a little bit longer than usual uh, with data plans, uh, and Wi-Fi will always be a little bit faster, so that's why it's better to do it this way. Um, some apps may have problems, so you may, may, may want to just do them at the end, but most of them would just run thoroughly and you won't have any problems. Now if any of them get stuck, you can always tap on the square and just pause them. For example, YouTube right now, I'm just gonna pause that one. So I'm just gonna tap right here and then it's just gonna pretty much start all over, okay? So I can just press on uh, tapping on that or again and then it says updating again. It's gonna resume that or start all over. Depends which app you're downloading. So, uh, that's how you can start your apps again and update them all. Um, obviously, on iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can have this done automatically, which I never suggest doing that since um, you may be using your iPhone and then your, then your iPhone may decide to just do the update. But that's not the best scenario because you may want it to be running, okay? And when you're doing updates, it's going to run that much slower okay because it's doing a process of downloading and installing apps um, so that takes a little bit of time and that's why it's better to do it yourself so whenever you're not using your iPhone iPad or iPod touch you just leave it there update them all and that's it anyways that's it for this video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you